This is the uh, Getting Started tutorial. This tutorial is going to be quite a fast paced tutorial. We're going to cover quite a few areas, but we're not going to go into a lot of detail in any one specific area. There will be other tutorials which, will, which, which can be used for that. So this assumes that you're using the software for the first time, everything's blank and you're just getting started. The first thing I would uh, suggest is if you go to the Functions menu and take a look at some of these menu options down here. These are like your setup options. Most of these will be set up with defaults, which will be fine, you won't have to change them. The only one you might want to consider changing is the bank accounts at the top here. By default you're given one bank account, but you can add multiple bank accounts if you've got lots of them. Once you've finished reviewing all these setup options and you're happy with them, the first thing we want to do is we want to set up the property owners. The property owners are the people that own the properties that we are managing. So if you're a property manager, then you'll have lots of property owners. If you're a private landlord, then you'll only have one, and that would be yourself. So the general way the screen is laid out is on the left we have a list of things, in this case a list of owners, and my list is empty. And on the right hand side we have the details. So if I push the add button down the bottom, this is going to add a new owner, and the details are going to come up on the right hand side. So the first thing I want to do is fill in a short code. This is like a reference code, something that you can use to remember this owner by in future. I'm just going to call it owner1. If you're a property manager you might also want to go over here and set the the management fee percentage. So let's say I want to charge my owner 10% including taxes for management fees. So when I press save it adds my new owner into the list on the left hand side here. If I want to edit an item I just hover over the blue column and click it and that will bring up the details on the right hand side again. If I want to delete an item I just click on it to highlight it and then press delete. But I won't do that in this case. Once I've finished setting up all my property owners I then want to set up the properties themselves. So I'm going to go over here to properties and again I'm going to use the add button down the bottom. Just like with owners I need a short code or reference code again. So I'm just going to say property1. Down here we can specify who the owner is and if you open this, op open this list here you can see owner1. That's the owner I created just a few seconds ago. And we also specify a default bank account so I'll do that and I'll just save it. I'll go through setting up the rest of my properties as well. Once I've finished doing that I can then set up the tenants. So I'm going to go over to tenants and I'm going to press the add button. Again I need a code. And now we select the property that this person is occupying. And you can see it's selected property 1, which is the property I created just recently. So you can see here the way everything links together. The tenant links to the property, and the property links to the owner. I also specify a start date. And when I press save, because this is a new tenant, I've got to specify what the initial rent amount and frequency is. Frequency can be days, weeks, months, or years. So I'm going to specify maybe 300 every two weeks and I'm going to press save or OK. Now if I edit that tenant and go to the information tab we can see the rent due is 300 and the total balance due is also 300 up here. So it's automatically charged them the rent. We don't have to tell it. We don't have to charge them rent each week or each fortnight. It just automatically gets applied. So once I've finished setting up the owners, the properties and the tenants, I can then start recording my transactions and that's the actual rent that's being received from the tenant. So I'm going to go over here to the cash book screen and this is my bank account and all my transactions. I'm going to add a new transaction. I'm going to assume that my tenant has just paid me some rent. Under transaction group, I'm going to specify rent as the type of transaction. These ones in green mean that they are income transactions, like rent. These ones down here in red are the expenses, such as repairs. So I'm going to choose rent as an income. I'm going to specify that they paid me 200. I'm going to choose which property it belongs to. There's the property, property 1. It's automatically filled in my bank account for me. And I'm going to specify the tenant. And that's the tenant 1 that I created recently. 
down here we can see the tenant balance was 300. After we pay our amount of 200, the new balance is going to be 100. I'm going to save that. If we go back to the tenant details screen now for that tenant, go to information, we can see the rent due 300 and the rent payment of 200. So the total balance due on that own on that tenant is now 100. So that is a very quick overview showing you how to get started. The general process is you create your owners, then you create your properties, and then you create your tenants. And once you've done that, you can then start entering your transactions such as your rent income or your expenses.